Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about some new lip products from Chanel. We're talking about the new Camellia lipsticks as well as their new lip liners. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with the new Camellia lipsticks. Now, these are brand new and limited edition. These have been available on the international market now for a few months, I think. They were released in January in Europe as well as the US. However, here in Canada, they have been on the market for one whole week. They are available for sale through the Chanel website directly, through Holt Renfrew, through The Bay, and also through selected um, Farmer Pre or Shoppers Drug Marts. The Rouge Allure Camellia lipsticks come in eight shades. There are four colors that are the Rouge Allure texture and four colors that are the Rouge Allure velvet. I picked up two shades from the collection, one from the Rouge Allure and one from the Velvet. The first one is number 337, Camellia Rose. This is the regular Rouge Allure texture. It's a bit more creamy and hydrating. And I also have number 357, Camellia Rouge, which is in the more velvet texture, so it's a bit more matte. Let me go ahead and read off a bit of the description on the website here. The Camellia is the iconic flower of Chanel, plucked from the lapels of dandy jackets by Gabrielle Chanel. It blossoms anew each season in the house creations so it's the iconic emblem of Coco Chanel of the entire house of Chanel and so they like to incorporate it into their products every new season just to I don't know be bougie and to make us fall in love with the packaging I guess so the biggest addition to these lipsticks here is the emblem on top here the camellia it's embossed in gold on the top here these lipstick tubes are really just the classic rouge allure lipstick you have the click top you pull it out as i mentioned the textures are either the classic rouge allure or the rouge allure velvet so these are really just your standard lipsticks from chanel however they have a new logo that's about it and they are limited edition so as i mentioned these are recently available for sale in canada and i have to say from what i've heard these are selling out incredibly fast like really fast i'm surprised they even have any left on the chanel website directly i know that in store they're selling out tremendously quickly of many colors so yeah let's go ahead and try these out before we dive into the lipsticks, let's talk about the lip liners because I got corresponding colors to wear together. So these are the new long wearing lip liners from Chanel. So if you are not aware, Chanel used to have other lip liners in the past, but from my experience, they were not great. <laughs> they were extremely dry. Just from the get go, they were not very creamy, not very smooth. And as you owned them, as time went on, they kept getting drier and drier. And I haven't used these for a very long time. Obviously, they're brand new. But from the get-go, these feel much more creamy and soft and buttery than the classic lip liners because those were just like, it felt like a piece of wood dragging across your lips. Honestly, not great. So right off the bat, the texture feels like a great improvement. And these come in 19 different colors. There's a really nice selection of colors to choose from. I think there's an improvement on the shade range from the original. There's also a clear one available. I didn't see it, I think it's sold out, but it's really just a clear lip liner that you could wear with like anything. And if you're someone who deals with a lot of like fine lines in your lips, the clear one is great because you can really just fill it up. And I've also seen people use a clear lip liner to do like reverse lip lining, which is where they go on the outside because sometimes you get like small little fine lines on the outside of your lips. So with a clear liner, you can actually trace the contour on the outside and that sort of like fills in those little lines on the outside just as a tidbit of information. Okay, so the description goes as, Chanel reinvents its iconic lip pencil, a new sensorial ultra longwear formula with a tip that perfectly traces the lip contour. And these, as well as the older lip liners, have a little brush on the opposite end. So you can use this when you're applying your lipstick. You can use it to fade out your lip liner. It's kind of nice just having a small lip brush on the opposite end of the lip liner. And also, something to note, all lip liners come with its own 
sharpener do not throw this out it comes in the box here just on the top do not throw out the box without getting your sharpener these blades are not intended to last forever essentially once you've gone through an entire lip liner it's time to throw it out you can keep it if you want but it might not be as sharp okay so the two shades that i got are number 172 bois de rose and number 174 rouge tendre both of these names sound very familiar to older Chanel lip liners, so I think they just recreated some of the more iconic colors, but then also added a few new fun ones as well. I'm gonna go ahead and apply Camellia Rose with the Bois de Rose lip liner. I think that these two will mix well together. So with this lighter pink color, I'm doing more of an ombre effect, so I'm just kind of doing the contour of my lip. With a lip liner, you can go ahead and just fill in your lip completely and then apply the lipstick over top. This is a surefire way to make your lipstick last all day, but if you want something a bit more light, you can just do the contour like I'm doing. Okay, so I think that these two wear perfectly well together. I don't really like it when the lip liner is incredibly darker than the lipstick, but I think that this is just a very natural gradient. You can't really tell a difference between the lip liner and the lipstick. I think that this is really just a perfect everyday light color. This is a combination that's easy to wear. You don't really have to wear a lip liner with it, but if you do, it looks really nice, but it could easily be just like something you throw on really quickly. And since it is the rouge allure texture, it's more creamy, it's more buttery, and these lip liners are so soft. Like I can't even describe what an improvement it is. Like if you used the ancient uh, lip liners, you'll know. Like those were so dry. These are not at all. They're just so wonderful. Such an improvement. I think that this combination is really lovely for just like everyday quick, just like a nude kind of your lip, but better, but a little bit more pink. I really like this combination. Let's move on to the more bold red. So with the reds, I just went ahead and just fill in the entire lip. As I mentioned, if you do this two-step method where you just fill in your whole lip and then put the lipstick over top, your lip, your lip color is gonna last through every meal, every coffee, it's gonna last the entire day. Okay, so as you can see, the texture of this one is more matte. It's not as shiny or buttery as the first one, but this color is beautiful. I love a red. I love more of a warm tone orangey red. I feel like the Camellia Rouge definitely leans more towards orange, especially with the lip liner that I chose. This lip liner in particular is more of a warm toned one, but there are more classic blue red lip liners to choose from as well. So one thing I forgot to mention is that these lip liners retail at 37 Canadian plus tax and the lipsticks are 50 Canadian plus tax. So overall, what are my thoughts? I think that this entire new lip liner collection is a great improvement. I think that if you have experienced the older Chanel lip liners, you will definitely like these new ones. They're much softer, much more buttery, much more smooth. I do have to say that these are brand new to me. So I'm interested to see how these wear in about a month or so. Like, are they going to dry out? Will they maintain their moisture? I will definitely give you guys an update if you guys want. In like maybe two or three months, I can let you know if the textures stayed the same or if they've dried out. Let me know if you want an update. So the Rouge Allure Camellia, if you love these particular shades, if you like these particular colors, if you are a Chanel collector, if you love camellias, I think that these are really lovely lipsticks, but you do have to keep in mind that these are literally just the same Rouge Allure or Rouge Allure Velvet. It's the same thing, exact same thing, except it has a Camellia logo on top. That's all that's changed. It's the same thing. So it's up to you. I mean, if there's a certain color you totally want, or if you just want to collect for the sake of collecting, that's up to you. I do have to say that these are selling out incredibly quickly. So 
If you do want any of these lipsticks, don't hesitate because they're going very fast. And I think the same is going for these lip liners. These are not limited edition. This is part of the new permanent collection, but since there are new colors, since it's a new and improved texture, these are also selling out quite quickly. So both of these are items that if you want them, don't hesitate. Okay, I think this about does it for today's video. I hope you guys found it informative. Let me know down in the comments if you picked up any of these Rouge Allure Camellia lipsticks. Let me know if you picked up the new lip liners. What are your thoughts? Let us know down below. If you happen to enjoy today's video, if you like luxury makeup reviews and luxury makeup tutorials, please like, comment, and subscribe. I post a lot of content all focusing on luxury beauty. So if you would like to be in the know whenever there's a new video, please subscribe and also hit that notification bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.